So this is Upper Goose Pond Cabin, which of course isn't open, but normally this apparently is quite the little stop on the AT. Uh, there's caretakers who, who take care of it and they make pancakes in the morning and as you can see it's a pretty big, nice enclosed cabin. Um, but unfortunately it's closed. They're going to reopen it soon, but not yet. And then right down there is the pond. And where we camped last night was up behind the cabin up that way. Um, but unfortunately not open right now. All right, day two. Here's what the trail looks like. Um, it's actually very nice, don't you think, Lise? Uh, the trail is nice. Not a lot of rocks, and right now it's flat, and the uphill was okay. Yeah, it wasn't that big of an uphill. Yeah, it's nice. And I was sleeping last night. Sleeping was good. Except. Oh, Tom snored quite a bit. I went to earplugs. But, hey, and we had a lot of friends, right, with all the Boy Scouts. And yeah. we met Bacon and a couple Boy Scout dads, so it was nice overall. A little oatmeal with walnuts for breakfast, and Tom had his granola. And hopefully we haven't eaten any bugs yet, but it's pretty buggy. But we got the eucalyptus on, so we're good. All righty. Here's a fun rocky section for Lisa. Lisa's favorite kind of trail. A wooden path. Oh, the creek's pretty high. It was up to the bridge. I can't catch you if I'm holding the camera. <laughs> wow, I never did that before either. And there's a ladder on the other side. Did you and here's... I guess we're crossing this field and going over that. Little stairway ladder thing right up there. What do you think of the cows? Oh my god, I think they're steer, not cows. I gotta get running, but I can't even run. I wanna run. Holy crap, Ola, they're gonna come get me. Oh no. I don't think the cows are gonna come get you. Oh Here is the best view we've had so far all hike. Not a lot to it, but it's something. All right, we made it to the shelter for the night. We actually ended up hiking 14 miles on the trail and almost 15 off the trail. So this is like a new record for Lisa. Um, we made it to Mount Wilcox North Shelter. We were going to stop at Shaker Campsite. Um, that was only 10 miles when we were there by two, so... We did like four or five more. Here's a shelter and some hikers and then um, back in the woods back in there to the left of the shelter is where our tent's set up. Um, and the guy in the polka dot hat right there, we actually camped with him last night. I unofficially named him uh, Bacon. So we'll call him Bacon from now on. So it was a long, hard day. We just ate. And then tomorrow we're going to get the car and Go into town and take a zero day and, sorry, there's bugs all over me. A lot of bugs today and kind of hot. Um, we're going to take a zero day and then I'm going to hit the trail some more.